welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing well i've gotten a lot of questions regarding you know what type of camera i use and just like my different equipment that i use to film my youtube videos i just thought this would be a good video to help support small youtubers and just youtubers uh, maybe big youtubers or people who are interested in starting a youtube channel because if you haven't already i don't know why i mean this is a great time to start and just be creative and try it out so um i wanted to do this video just to show you guys what equipment that i use and then i'm also going to get into detail about like what equipment i think is like necessary to start out your channel and what equipment you can kind of wait on and just to give you guys a heads up, I did not, you know, get all this at one time. I accumulated this equipment over a couple years because I used to have a YouTube channel um, back in like 2015 with my husband. But we ended up deleting that channel, which was kind of dumb. Maybe we could have been like famous by now. <laughs> Second, I'm just kidding. Yeah, so we got some of the some of that equipment back then, and then I've just accumulated some more as I've started this YouTube journey again. So without further ado, I'm just gonna hop right into this video and show you guys what I use. The most common question that I get in my comments or just from people that you know ask me about youtube and stuff is what camera do i use the camera that i use is called the panasonic lumix g7 mirror mirrorless camera this camera retails for about 500 dollars my number one favorite favorite thing about this camera is that the screen can flip out towards you um when i first started youtube i had a camera that um you couldn't see yourself in and honestly i believe in investing in a camera that you can see for yourself like flip the camera out so you can see because it's it was like truly truly hard to kind of see like if your background is symmetrical if you're like in the middle or like just like how everything looks around you they had like this app you could use to look at it on your phone but it was just too difficult so i highly recommend if you don't get this camera get a camera that you can flip the camera out and see yourself it also can flip out this way and then it can turn uh, it can actually rotate back towards say if someone is filming me or taking a photo or if I want to go behind the camera and flip it around I can do that so it does that and then it also flips closed um, so that's one of my favorite favorite features about this camera and then um, some of the other details is that it has really high quality photos it takes 4k photos um, 4k videos which means it's four times more detail than full HD it has portrait mo it has a whole bunch of modes portrait mode but I know that it focuses really well and it has a camera flash it has a timer on it it's nothing really at this moment that I can think that I don't like about it um, what I can say is if you're starting out I truly don't think that um, you need to invest in a $500 camera because if you have an iPhone sometimes when I record videos with my iPhone it's kind of like just as good as the quality as my camera the only time that the camera gets better with its quality is if you purchase and invest in different lenses which I feel like I am going to be doing in the near future is just in investing in more high quality lenses because when you buy the camera it kind of comes with the most basic lens don't feel pressured to purchase this very expensive camera um, starting out because first of all try it out to see if this is something that you really want to do like how disappointing it would you be if you like spent 500 to a thousand dollars on a camera and then find out that you don't like doing YouTube so I highly recommend just starting out with your phone but on to the next 
topic the next equipment that i think is essential 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 no matter if you're filming with a camera filming with your phone is a ring light ring lights are like so so essential to me um unless you're like just doing like your daily vlogs because then the lighting in your room doesn't really matter as much but for me, I don't really do vlogs on this channel yet. The good thing about a ring light is it doesn't limit you to a time in the day, in the day where you can film. Like, for example, daytime lighting is the best lighting to record with, but say you're like me and you have kids or, you know, you work. You don't always have that chance to film during daylight. So the ring light is really a lifesaver when it comes to that. The ring light that I'm using now, I actually purchased off Walmart. And you guys, you guys really can't sleep on Walmart when it comes to their technology because they will really have good sales. I got this ring light with Walmart for $70. Now, I looked on there today and this is actually on sale again for $70. It usually retails for $120, but um, they the seller lowers their price. Um, I, I don't know why, just I guess during certain times of the year, they just lower it. And this is actually a great, great, great investment. So this light stand is LED ring light with stand dimmable 5500K light kit for camera, smartphone, YouTube, photography, video, portrait shooting. Um, it comes with different lighting filters. Like this one I use is, I guess it's like the white or cool one. Then they also have one that's kind of orange and I guess that's when you want it to be more warm. It comes with the extension cord. It comes with the little bag that you can store it in because this can fold up to be practically nothing. So that's another thing that I really like about it is that it doesn't take up that much space and I'm able just to store it in my closet. Um, it comes with both a, a mount piece for your camera and also it comes with a, a mount piece for your phone. When you're looking for a ring light, make sure that it can be compatible with your camera and your phone. So that way you're saving money and not having to buy um, different mounts. If it comes with those two mounts, then perfect. It comes with that package. I have a Rode microphone for my camera um i hope that's how i'm saying i hope i'm saying it right roadie or road microphone and this microphone just attaches to my camera to help increase the quality um, of the audio i would say this is not technically necessary um, because I do see like an increase in the audio quality um, with this tool, but it's not drastic to where I'm like, oh yeah, you need to get this. I don't know if I said this, but this retails for $50. Um, it does come with like this little feathery type of thing that you put over top of the microphone. Like say you're, you're going to do more like vlogging and stuff and that that microphone cover really helps protect the audio when it comes to wind and stuff like it blocks all that out and just gets more clear quality audio this is just really nice to have but I don't think that it is necessary YouTube equipment that I use very very often and is essential for me is the blue snowball ice microphone this microphone retails for about $50 and um, I love this microphone. I use this to record all my voiceovers. Um, that's when you're just, when you're not talking in your video. And then when you go back to edit it, you're, you know, just talking through the clips. I freaking love that microphone. I believe it's worth $50 and it just gives my video very high quality audio when it comes to my voiceovers. Next thing that I have on my list, I have two tri- well, I actually have three tripods. I already talked about the ring light, that's one tripod, but then I have just a normal tripod. It doesn't have a light on it, and that is good for me. Just say you want to get multiple angles, sometimes I'll have both set up to where the this ring light 
um, tripod is giving me one angle and then the other tripod is giving me a separate angle that's good for like b-roll shots which b-roll is kind of like where your video cuts off from like the main shoot so like say I'm talking to you and then I show while I'm still talking I show you a clip of something that I'm referring to um, that tripod is good for that or like if I'm doing clothing hauls and stuff like that that retails for about $30 and I got that from Best Buy and then I also have a handheld tripod which is good for vlogging um, it's good for um, say you just want to set your camera up on a counter or something that's good because it's not this tall thing you don't have to lug it around your house you can just take that little small handheld one and um, place it up on a counter or something so that one this handheld one I think retails for about $15 the next equipment that I use for my YouTube is a MacBook Air um, I got this MacBook Air about five years ago, so it is not the latest and the greatest. I think I purchased it for about $600 used. And for me, this MacBook is essential because it has iMovie on it, which is the software program that I use to film and I mean to edit my videos and it comes on there free some people can edit their videos on their phone edit their thumbnails on their phone and kudos to you but honestly it is so hard for me to edit any video footage or um, edit any thumbnails on my phone you can try it out say you don't have a MacBook or you don't have a computer um, you can test it out and see if you can do it on your iPhone but honestly it's super hard for me and I'm not able to edit to the quality that I like the next Apple product is your iPhone yeah I've been talking about this a little bit throughout my video but I truly think that my iPhone is is essential to my YouTube because it just helps me get extra shots if I don't want to pull out my camera it also takes really good photos and I currently have the iPhone 11 it takes excellent photos excellent photos excellent video and um, it does help me edit certain pictures I use the apps on there to edit certain pictures to then send to my computer so I can you know do my um, thumbnails or I like to use different apps on there for different fonts and things like that so the iPhone is truly truly essential to my YouTube channel so I've also gotten a lot of questions in my comments about my background and you know where do I get my backgrounds so I'm gonna tell you guys a trick and it's not a secret but it's a trick that I learned from another youtuber um, whose name is Kalichi I hope I'm pronouncing her name right she is this gorgeous woman who um, teaches about YouTube how to grow on YouTube different tips and tricks on social media in general and I subscribe to her you guys should too she's very very helpful and she taught me this trick where say you don't want to invest in these bulky backdrops um, where it has the poles and it holds up your uh, your backdrop those things are one expensive and two they take up a lot a lot of space so the trick that she taught me was to go and get command hooks and stick them on a empty wall that you have and then go to the craft store the fabric store and get like a stretchy fabric and um, cut holes in it and four corners and then stick it on to your wall place the holes over the command hooks and then that that will hold up your backdrop one the fabric has to be stretchy and two you could really get any color but I use a green screen on a lot of my videos because you can change the green screen to whatever color you want so it saves you money you don't have to go around and get like 100 different colors of fabrics because you can just change the green screen to whatever color you want so 
sometimes the green screen does get a little tricky because I don't have like the soft boxes and the all the different lighting to really make it look realistic so sometimes you can kind of tell but a lot of the times people will tell me wow like your background looks so good and I couldn't when I tell them it's a green screen they say they couldn't even tell and I would say that that is essential to my YouTube channel because I have like I film here like in front of this little setup but sometimes I just want to switch it up and that ended up costing me a total of about 40 bucks to do that um, versus like $100 for um, a backdrop setup. Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly come back on here because I almost forgot to include a huge, huge, huge essential um, when it comes to your YouTube channel and that is purchasing extra batteries. Um, this is so important because batteries die quickly and you want to have like backup batteries for um, say you're recording something and your battery dies. You don't want to have to wait to charge a battery before finishing your video. Trust me, it'll be a lifesaver when you're almost done a video and your camera decides it wants to die. You can just go ahead and grab that extra battery and then you'll be just fine. Um, that is all the things that I use to film my YouTube videos. I hope this helps someone out and um, I hope you enjoyed the video. So please remember to give it a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment down below letting me know what camera you guys use. I would like to know or like what equipment is essential for your YouTube channel and I would be very, very curious to know because maybe you might teach me something. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell notification button so that way you'll be notified every time that I post a video. You guys, trust me, you do not want to miss out on any of the upcoming content that I have. I am I'm really just excited to grow my channel and just give you guys good quality content and just be creative and have fun so thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video